There are a couple ways you can set up your email to work with Plan Plus Online. The first way you're probably already familiar with. You've probably seen it as part of the quick setup or startup wizard that you ran when you first logged into your account. That's one way to set up your email. The other way is through the email center. So when I open the email center, you'll notice on the left we have email account setup. Under account setup we have two tabs. We have incoming accounts and outbound settings. To add an incoming account, which you can have multiple email addresses associated with this current email client, all I do is add an account. You're welcome to look through our list of providers. If your provider is there, you're welcome to select it. It will pre-fill some of the information. Not all of it because we don't know your email address or your password or anything like that. If you don't see your email provider here, then you'll have to fill in these boxes. And this is something your email provider should provide to you. This is very common questions that they get. They can probably answer those in their sleep. So the first thing you need to do is choose your server type. The most common is POP3. However, IMAP4 is also available for a lot of providers. But we'll use POP3 for the example because I'm going to use my POP a Gmail account that uses a POP3 server. Email address for the account. This is your email address. So I'm going to set up my Plan Plus Online account here. The next thing I have to put in is where is my inbox located? What server has my mail on it that I want to go out and get? This is provided by your email service provider. In this case, Plan Plus Online is actually managed by Gmail. So I'll put the pop.gmail.com server in here. You'll have to put the right server in for your email settings. I know they use secure sockets, so I choose SSL, and the port number is automatically adjusted to the right port number for an SSL server. Now, these can be different. Your provider can change these any way they want so you will have to check on those. The username is usually your email address. Very seldom is it something different. And then your password of course is something you would know. Your user display name can be anything you want it to be. However, it defaults to whatever the default display name for your Plan Plus system is. Most of the time I just leave it there. And the display sequence only applies if you have multiple email accounts set up here. If you have more than one, obviously they have to be displayed in a certain order, and you can control that order through the display sequence. It starts with zero, and it moves forward from there. So I'll make this display sequence one. Once you've set these up, you're welcome to test your settings. If the settings are correct, you'll get a count of the messages in your in folder.